Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel, I am Hashem Ali Khan. So far we have completed 6 problems on a funds flow statement. In this video, the next problem, 7th problem I am going to start. So if you are regularly watching all the videos, now you are in a position to attempt the problem on funds flow analysis. Two statements, statement of changes in working capital and statement of source and application of funds. In statement of changes in working capital, we take only current assets and current liability to find out whether there is increase or decrease in working capital. Then statement of source and application, we take all non-current items, non-current assets and non-current liabilities. Now, before starting the seventh problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready. Now, seventh one. The following are the summarized balance sheets of Tanmai Limited as on 31st March 16 and 31st March 17. So last year 16, current year 17. The balance sheet equity and liabilities shareholders fund share capital last year 6 lakh, current year 8 lakh. No adjustment regarding share capital. The 2 lakh rupees shares issued. The issue of shares will be taken under source, statement of source and application. The source side issue of shares 2 lakh, right? But before that, I suggest you to prepare the statement of changes in working capital by taking current assets and current liability. Afterwards, we'll discuss about non-current. The current assets you can see inventory is trade receivable, cash and cash equivalent. So here inventory is trade receivable. Always every problem we are having three current three current assets. Whatever amounts are given, same amounts I have taken last year current year current liabilities are two that is trade payable and provision for doubtful debts so trade payable provision for doubtful debts these two items are given under current liabilities so take the total and working capital is current asset minus current liability a minus b we'll get 268000 working capital last year current year 358000 so that means during the current year the working capital has increased how much it is increased? 90,000. So 358 minus 268, 90,000 is the increase in working capital. Put that amount in the lower column. Lower column is 268. Both are equal 358. Right? Now, in order to confirm whether this 90,000 is correct or not, we have to make two columns increase or decrease. So 3 lakh to 350, 50,000 increase. Here 69 to 61, 8,000 decrease. 20 to 20, 40,000, 20,000 increase. But in current liability, it is opposite. If it is increased, decrease column. If decrease, increase column. So 115 to 90, decrease. So we take the amount in increase column. Similarly, 6,000 to 3,000, decreased. So we take it in the increase column. Last one, increase in working capital will be taken in decrease column. Now the total 98,000 is equal. When the increase and decrease column equal amount is there, then our answer is correct 90,000. That's it. Now we'll come to non-current accounts. Share capital last year 6 lakh, current year 8 lakh, 2 lakh rupees issue of shares. Next, reserves and surplus. This will take into account for calculating funds from operation. So here note number one. So here it is given note number one, reserves and surplus. Surplus as per statement of profit and loss, last year 1 lakh 25,000, current year 2 lakh 50,000. Last year 125, current year 250. So 1,25,000 is the increase in reserves and surplus. You Here you can see. Calculation of funds from operation. Increase in reserves and surplus, 1,25,000. Right? Then debentures. Debentures last year 2 lakh, current year 3 lakh. Issue of debentures. Just like issue of shares, we have issue of debentures, 1 lakh. Next. Current liability already we have taken. Now fixed assets. For fixed assets, note number two. In note number two, fixed assets are given land and building at cost, less depreciation 20,000 to like 80,000. Similarly, plant and machinery at cost, less accumulated depreciation 30, 30. So two fixed assets are there. That is land and building and plant and machinery. Adjustment, you can see there is no adjustment regarding land and building. Land and building, there is no adjustment. So directly we compare last year land and building 3 lakh. Current year land and building 4 lakh. So there is purchase of land and building. 
land and building increased the purchase of land and building will be taken on application side here you can see purchase of land and building 1 lakh this we have taken 2 lakh this we have taken 1 lakh this land and building 1 lakh now depreciation depreciation on land and building last year 20,000 current year 24,000 that means 4,000 rupees depreciation on land and building that will take it under non-current items here you can see depreciation on land and building 4,000 1 lakh 25,000 we have taken depreciation land and building 4,000 now plant and machinery 4 lakh last year current year 6 lakh 45,000 depreciation on plant and machinery 30,000 35,000 adjustment is given during the year a part of machinery costing 70,000 accumulated depreciation there on 2000 was sold for 6000 previous last two problems I told you whenever there is sale of asset we have to open the accounts so here I have opened the account of plant and machinery account and accumulated depreciation on plant and machinery the last year plant and machinery was 4 lakh current year 6 lakh 45,000 so you can see two balance brought down 4 lakh by balance carried down 6 lakh 45,000 Opening balance debit side, closing balance credit side. Depreciation last year 30,000, current year 35,000. So buy balance brought down 30,000 to balance carried down 35,000. Right now we have to pass the entry. In the previous problems, I told you whenever an asset is sold, three entries will be passed. The first entry will be sale proceed, bank account data to machinery account bank account data i'm not writing here previous last two problems i have written now i'm only explaining bank account data to machinery account so here machinery account credit side by bank sale how much is the sale proceed received during the year part of machinery was sold for rupees 6000 6000 rupees is the sale proceed second entry will be accumulated depreciation account data to machinery account so accumulated depreciation debit side to machinery depreciation on machine sold how much is the depreciation on machine sold it is given in the last line accumulated depreciation there on 2000 so 2000 rupees is the depreciation on that machine which was sold so accumulated depreciation debit side depreciation account credit side accumulated depreciation 2000 second entry passed now third entry regarding profit or loss <coughs> what was the cost of the machine which was sold away the cost was 70,000 and depreciation provided on this machine was 2000 so what is the book value 68,000 is the book value this book value of machine was sold sale proceed sale proceed is how much 6000 that means book value of the machine is 68000 but it was sold only for 6000 therefore loss on sale is equal to 68000 minus 6000 is equal to 62000 62000 is the loss on sale of machine Entry profit and loss account data to machinery account. Profit and loss account data to machinery account. So here I am writing by P and L account loss. How much is the loss? 62,000. That's all. All the entries, three entries completed on the sale. Now we find the balancing. 35 plus 2, 37,000. Here also 37,000. 37 minus 30. So 7,000 rupees by P and L account balancing figure depreciation for the year. So current year total depreciation provided on machinery is 7,000. This 7,000 will be taken as a non-cash item. Here you can see depreciation on plant and machinery 7,000. This 7,000 I have taken here. Now what is the loss how much is the purchase now see here if you take the total on the credit side it is 6000 plus 2000 plus 62000 plus 6 lakh 45000 it comes to 7 lakh 15000 
seven lakh fifteen thousand is the total on the credit side. Minus four lakh, it comes to three lakh fifteen thousand. So here I am taking three lakh fifteen thousand to bank balancing figure purchase. There is a purchase of machinery three lakh fifteen thousand. So purchase will be taken on application side. Here you can see purchase of machinery three lakh fifteen thousand. Loss on sale. How much is the loss on sale? Sixty two thousand is the loss on sale. That will take it add back. The so loss on sale of plant and machinery is sixty two thousand. Now sale of machine. What is the sale proceed we got? Six thousand rupees we got by selling the machine. Source site. Sale of machinery six thousand. That's all. We have taken all the items, right? And preliminary expenses. One item we forgot. Results and surplus. In this, you can see uh, preliminary expenses last year seven thousand, current year six thousand. So one thousand rupees preliminary expenses written off. That should be taken under non-cash item. Already this point we have covered in the last video also, last problem also. So preliminary expenses written off one thousand. Or all the items we have ticked last one uh, dividend paid. One more item is there. Last line of the problem, dividend of rupees fifty thousand were paid during the year. Last time, this point also we have covered in the last video, last problem. Dividend paid will appear twice. Dividend paid will be taken as an application. Application dividend paid fifty thousand. Again, the dividend paid is a non-operating item. It is a non-operating item, so it will be added. Dividend paid fifty thousand. That's all. We have taken all the items. Now take the total of all these items. We'll get two lakh forty nine thousand. What is this funds from operation FFO? So here funds from operation two lakh forty nine thousand, right? Lastly, is the increase or decrease here? Increase in working capital. This should be taken on the application side. Application side increase in working capital ninety thousand. That's all. Every item is ticked here. Or now, if you do not commit any mistake, the total of source and application must be equal. We'll check. So two lakh plus so one lakh plus six thousand plus two lakh forty nine thousand, five lakh fifty five thousand we are getting. So five lakh fifty five thousand we are getting on the source side. Application side, fifty thousand plus so one lakh plus three lakh fifteen thousand plus ninety thousand. Five lakh fifty-five thousand. Got it. Both sides are equal. That means we have done correctly. There is no mistake in the uh, solution. Everything we have taken right. That's all. So this is the end of problem number seven. Come on. Now I am going to start the next problem. Problem number eight. From the following summarized financial statements of Shraddha Limited as at thirty-first March two thousand sixteen and two thousand seventeen. Prepare a statement showing source and application of funds and a statement of changes in working capital. So first of all, easily we can make statement of changes in working capital. So what are the current assets? Inventories, trade receivable, cash and cash equivalent. So here you can see Shuddha Limited statement of changes in working capital. Current assets, inventories, trade receivable, cash and cash equivalent. All the three values are given for last year and current year. I have taken the total of a one eighty three two forty. Now current liabilities. Under current liabilities, we are given trade payable. We don't have short-term provisions, but proposed dividend is there. So we can treat the proposed dividend as a current liability. We would have taken here trade payable. Oh, sorry, uh, proposed dividend. There are two methods of treatment of proposed dividend. We can treat it as a current liability, or we can treat it as an appropriation of profit. If you want to treat proposed dividend as a current liability, then you should take proposed dividend here and add up trade payable and proposed dividend. If you want to treat it as a current liability, but I am not treating it as a current liability because in the previous problem we have done, we have treated proposed dividend as a current liability for a change to let you know to make you understand that one more method is there. That method is called appropriation of profit. 
the proposed dividend will not be taken as a current liability then what it should be done now i am explaining the proposed dividend last year 20000 current year proposed dividend 30000 and the last line of the problem it is given <clears throat> the final dividend for the year 31st march 20, 2016 amounting 20000 was paid on 10th april 2016 that means the last year dividend was paid now this 20000 last year dividend paid will be shown as an application here in application you can say dividend paid last year 2016 20000 the last year dividend paid off the application side and current year's proposed dividend 30000 that current year's proposed dividend will be add back as a non cash item here you can see proposed dividend 2016 current year 30000 this treatment is called appropriation of profit we are not treating proposed dividend as a current liability we are treating as an appropriation of profit so how it should be done the dividend paid <coughs> will be taken as an application and proposed dividend of current year will be add back as a non-cash item this method is called appropriation of profit method so here only one current liability have taken trade payable last year current year take the total b Working capital A minus B, 183 minus 180, 3000, 240 minus 220, 20. So 3000 last year working capital, current year 20,000, increase by 17,000, increase in working capital 17,000, right? The total 2020. Now to confirm whether 17,000 is correct or not, we will take increase or decrease. So 40,000 increase, 18,000 increase, 1000 decrease. Here 180 to 220, that is 40,000 increase. So I will take it in decrease column. Here last one increase. This should be taken in decrease column. So the total of increase or decrease 58,000. If the total is same, that means our answer of 17,000 is correct. That's it. So we have prepared the working capital. Now I am coming to source or application. Now see, share capital last year 2 lakh. Current year 2 lakh 40,000. So 40,000. Issue of shares 40,000. No adjustment, nothing. Then reserves and surplus, note number one. Now carefully come to the note. Reserves and surplus consist of two items, general reserve and surplus as per statement of profit and loss account. General reserve last year 1 lakh, current year 1 lakh 20,000. So 20,000 rupees transferred to general reserve. That 20,000 will be taken under non-cash, non-operating item. You can see here, transfer to general reserve, 20,000. Then surplus as per statement of profit and loss. The so last year surplus 20,000, current year surplus 30,000. So 10,000 is the increase in surplus. So I have taken increase in surplus, 10,000, right? Preliminary expenses written off. Last year 37,000, current year 30,000. So how much preliminary expenses were written off? 7,000. That 7,000 I am taking here. Preliminary expenses written off 7,000. This point already last 2-3 problems we are getting. This preliminary expense written off 7,000. That's all reserves and surplus we have completed. Now, 16% debentures. I'll make a tick so that you can be able to understand. Already 40,000 we have taken. Then dividend paid we have taken. Now, 16% debentures last year 1 lakh, current year 90,000. Debentures decreased, it is called redemption of debentures. If debentures were increased, then issue of debentures. Last two problems we have issue of debentures. But in this problem, redemption of debentures. So, redemption of debentures will be taken on the application side. Here, redemption of debentures 10,000. Next comes trade payable, already we have taken short term provision, not their proposed dividend we have taken. This proposed dividend and also here dividend, proposed dividend 30,000. This one we have discussed, this one we have discussed. And transfer to general reserve also we have discussed. Then non-current assets, now carefully you see. Fixed assets last year 360, current year 410. So fixed assets. Then non-current investments. Investments are last year 40,000 current year 50,000 the purchase of non-current investments because investment increased so purchase of non-current investment 10,000 this also we have taken next 
current assets, all the three current assets we have taken. Now adjustment you see. During the year ended 31st March 2017, depreciation charged on fixed assets amounted to 50,000. The last line it is given, depreciation provided 50,000. So we have to open the account. The fixed assets, last year fixed assets 360, current year 410. So 360 last year, current year 14. And depreciation provided during the year 50,000. This 50,000 by depreciation 50,000. Right? There is no sale, only purchase. So 50,000. Depreciation is a non cash item. So here also depreciation 50,000 you should take. Depreciation always is a non cash expense. Add. Now take the total on the credit side 410 plus 50, 460. 460 minus 360, 1 lakh. So 1 lakh rupees is the purchase of fixed asset. Here we have taken purchase of fixed asset. 1 lakh. That's all. All the items we have taken. Now simply you have to add up all. All the items are ticked here. If you add up 1 lakh, 17,000 is the FFO. Funds from operation. So funds from operation, 1 lakh, 17,000. Similarly here, increase or decrease there is increase in working capital 17,000 application site. Increase in working capital 17,000. See here, all the items I have ticked. I have taken. Now, if you find the total source site total 157, application site 157. When both the totals are same, it means our, our solution, our answer is correct. This is the procedure of making funds flow statements. So totally eight problems I have completed on this topic of funds flow statement. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share my channel with your friends, with your uh, I mean friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Go to the playlist. I have uploaded so many videos on different subjects. And one more channel I have started that is Hans Accounting Institute. The link is given in the description. Visit that channel also. I have uploaded many more videos there which will increase your knowledge. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.